register on Paris Pesa with our promo code FANSTRIPE to enjoy the fattest odds in the market and up to 200% bonus on your first deposit when you use our promo code FANSTRIPE. Uh, we've lost the final to the host nation and then we walk away with the silver medal. Uh, it don't be, it don't be. The loser will never lose since. Now final will choose to lose them, but uh, here we are. Like, I don't know where to start this interview because we finished this game yesterday before this game. We were here yesterday during the preview. We ended this game on our own. And nobody should come and tell me that um, it's not like the way you think it or football is not easy. There is no player on this pitch that joined football at the age of 20. You've been playing football all your life. Then you will say you will be coach. Fine. You've been doing well. But are you both tell you, say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. We were here. We discussed everything. When we, got, when we got to the point where we were selecting our lineup, all of us agreed. We said, if Zaidu is fit, please take that first 11 that has been playing into this game. In this game today, the only thing that favored Nigeria was our tactical prowess. The crowd was against us. The officiating has been against us, there's no doubt about it. The environment was against us. Even our own people down there were also against us. Where were we? How many seats? How many tickets available? Where were we? Where is Nigeria Embassy in Côte d'Ivoire? In one month plus, we don't know them. Then Pesero choose to twist the starting ladder that has been working for him today. This is a game you know very well. The last time we played them in this same tournament, we won 1-0. Know that we played well. They played the game, they dominated the game. We had a penalty, we converted it, that was it. We knew very well. In this tournament, we've been doing one thing. We play from the back, we use our full back, we connect our wingers. Our midfield has not been that excellent. So if you know that our key, in this tournament has been online, you know, Kevin Bassi, Moses Simon, Admola Lukman, and, Mos, and, the, and the Victor Moses. Why dropping Moses Simon today on the bench? If we are to talk physicality, experience, finishing, where does Chukwesi? Where does Chukwesi match Moses Simon? How did you choose to try what you know? You have no a chance to repeat, to, 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 to like, to correct. A 15 minutes, 20 minutes coming. It's not like starting a game. We've seen players. We've seen the last of them into the part of them. These are fantastic substitute players. They are super sub any day, anytime. First impression, I ain't matter. It's like the destiny was in the hand to win this tournament. Judging by how they qualified from the group and they came here. You knew very well that today, the only thing you needed to do was to do the right thing. Play your best players. Look at the substitution. We have not been that fantastic in this tournament. Every Nigerian know. Every football fan know. But we have been managing to win games. We struggle to win our games. We score penalties. We hit our opponent on counter, we'll get our goals. This is what we've been doing. How many out of seven games in this tournament, how many of these games did we dominate the game? Now we don't join people. We win their last half con 42 years ago. There is no Nigerian fan. There is nobody in this Côte d'Ivoire that will go give Côte d'Ivoire a chance to defeat Nigeria today. The Super Eagle that beat them in the group stage is better. It's worse than the one that they defeated today. But what did we do? We got it wrong. We got it wrong. I blame it on Pesero. See, see, he has been doing well, but Tolonga today is concerned. I blame it 100% on Pesero. He lost this game from the dressing room. He lost the game from his formation. Because there was no place in this game today for Samuel Chukwese. I'm sorry. Huh. In the end, she had two goals, right? We collect. And where do we go from here? We have uh, World Cup qualifiers, of course, and then AFCON qualifiers, and then AFCON next year. We are not done with this one. We are not 
done with this one because it can't be like this. We can't continue like this. We can't just continue like this. We can't just continue like this. You can't be supporting a country that has no respect for your national team. How can we come here today? Nigeria is based in Cote d'Ivoire. We couldn't have access to tickets. Then their citizens came. They broke every protocol. I bought tickets 30,000 server. And I stood up for, for, for 90 minutes plus. People who didn't buy tickets occupied my seats. Well, it's a good one. The last time I met, we didn't get here. And if, if we are to check by progress, by statistics, I think we've made a progress. The last time we, we exited from the round of 16, today we played final. But I, I, if I am to say, I am 100% disappointed. Not on the players, but on the manager. I am 100% disappointed on the manager. If he has done what he has been doing, we won't be here today. We know what they do. The whole of the first half, they were playing long balls. Looking for Sabasin Hall. It didn't work for them. It did not work for them. The second half they came, they started playing the ball on the ground. Brother, they started using the wing. My brother, my brother. So you are the manager, you knew that the players they have the light, the lights of fun at them. This team plays from the middle. Chuck the middle. Don't give them space in the middle. We are very comfortable with our full bags. They can't play from the wing. Look at the first goal. It was a shot. It was a shot from Fofana. Then they had that corner and convert it. So their game was from the midfield. We will play from the wing. Who has an upper hand? We had upper hand. If we chuck the midfield, we hit them on counter. That's what we've been doing. So why didn't you do it? Where did you get the idea to drop Moses Simon on the bench and play Chukwese? It's a shame. People, I know people will say that we are destined to win. But not somebody cannot tell me that God of we, we are destined to win this tournament. You know the free internet boss come after and come win them. You know go there your house. Morocco qualify you. The only country where play match in 90 minutes, wait for results for two days. I never see them before. Say you play match in 90 minutes. You wait for the result for 48 hours. Now you get the result. Another person they play you, they're happy. Then all of a sudden you play final. You defeated the best team so far in the tournament out of our own mistake. We put ourselves into their hands. It's a shame. It's a big disgrace. So long as I'm concerned, it's a big disgrace. It's a shame to somebody like me here in Abidjan. Because I never expected it. If there is one game I think, or I know that Nigeria will lose, it shouldn't be this one. We had no, we had no, we had no reason losing this game. But what, what, what can I do? What can I say? What do I know? Positives. Any positives to take away? So many positives. So many. If they don't politicize the team, if they can keep Pesero, we will build on this team. There are so many positives in this team. All we need to do is come back to the, local, to the home base, go to, go to the foreign base, scout some midfielders. We don't have midfielders. You must say it. We don't have midfielders. We have average midfielders. Before this tournament, we are afraid of attackers. We were afraid of defenders. But when the tournament started, we now had the best defense. We considered two goals before today. Then today we considered two. Because we had our midfield. They dominated the midfield from the beginning to the end. We have a very good back line. Some young boys who have years to play. Fine, fine. Ekong is not that young. I know Ajayi is not old. But we have at least um, Olaino and Basi. These are young players. Saidu is also young. Can we go to the midfield and recruit players who can play the modern football in the midfield, who are very progressive in their play? Because that is our problem. We don't progress from the midfield. Modern football is that you build from your back. If you have two five assists, who can connect with the central defenders, with the central um, defensive midfielders? You play. But we, have, we didn't do that because we don't have the personnel. In our first game against Equitor Ragin, we tried to play fanciful football. We drew 1-1, one, one, then we reversed to playing dirty and winning. And it worked for us. So why didn't we play dirty today? Why didn't we play dirty? We, we, have a very, we have a very nice team. Before Senegal win this one, they, they lost the final before they came and win the last one last two years. So as so long as I'm concerned, we had a very good tournament. Though we've lost. It's a tournament one, some, somebody must win. We came all the way from Nigeria to Cote d'Ivoire. We played on beating to the last day. Then we lost 2-1. It's not a bad result. But NFF should look into this team, do the needful, then we move. Your final thought? My final thought is, Pesero, I think this is your first AFCON final. Today you have learned that there are days you don't experiment. 
there are days you can't afford to make mistakes. When you are, to me, we are unlucky to play against the host nation. Everything worked against us. The crowd worked against us. Everything worked against us. But you refuse to stick to that which I worked for you. And that was your greatest undoing today. But you've tried. You've tried. This is your first time come with Nigerians and you got this far. Congratulations to you, Pesero, but you have to work on your mistakes. All right. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our video ways to post like and all our social media links. I mean, follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.